I can't find her formula anywhere. The baby formula shortage has been hard for Heather Figueroa. Her six-month-old daughter has a serious milk allergy, and the formula she uses is hard to find. So she decided to take matters into her own hands. I'm like, we, there has to be a way that we can all band together. She created a Facebook group to connect other parents who are having the same problems. We have reached about 50% of the country. Formula Train has helped parents in 25 states and counting. Parents can post about what formula they need, and if it's available in another state, another group member will buy it and send it their way. And Figueroa tells me she's been paying for all of the shipping out of pocket. It's a huge effort, and we all need to do this together. This is for our children. But not everyone is as selfless as the members of Formula Train. The New Hampshire Attorney General is warning parents to look out for scammers. Officials say there are a number of things to be aware of if you're buying baby formula online, like how the seller is accepting payment. Most legitimate retailers will accept debit or credit cards, but scammers may request a money transfer like Venmo or Zelle. You should also look out for any posts online with spelling or grammatical errors. It seems too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. So be really, really diligent and make sure that you are investigating to the extent you can who you're doing business with before you send any of your money to anybody. If you have any questions about whether something online is legitimate or not, you're encouraged to reach out to the AG's office. Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.